This is the start of the weapon guide series. Today, we're doing the first ever gun in the series, and that's going to be the Bulldog Shotgun. I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to master this weapon. But before we get started, shout out to these guys who commented on one of my last videos. If you want to get included in the next video, make sure to comment down below. Leave me something that I'd love to read. So the Bulldog Shotgun is the first gun that you get from ICA. This is the first gun you get. It's dirt cheap at 6,400k marks, and it's still one of my go-to weapons in my loadout. If we go over to the ICA market, we go to weapons and it is right here. We see it has a penetration level of 17, a magazine size of two. It's 20 pounds, which is pretty light for a gun as some guns range from 40 to 60 plus pounds with attachments. Now today we're using a website called the cycle database. I'll link it all down below, but we're going to go over some of the stats that you need to know about this weapon. Then we're going to get into how to actually use this gun in a PVP fight. So right here is the cycle database. This is a website all about the cycle frontier. You can hit the link down below to go straight to it, but it tells you everything you need to know about anything in the game. First things first, here is the bulldog stats. As you can see, it is an uncommon gun. Does 12 base damage, 17 penetration, 1.2 crit multiplier, and 20 item weight. These are just some of the stats that you should know about the gun in order to succeed in the game. It's a fairly light gun, as we said, at 20 pounds. I wanna go over some of this right here. This is the bulldog damage calculator. This tells you how far away the fall off of the gun damage starts to go off. So as you see here, they measure in meters. So at 10 meters right here is where the fall off starts. So, so this means that the gun before 10 meters will do the same damage. As we can see here, it says 12 on the top. We're going by base damage, 12, 12, 12. And then if we get past 10 meters, it goes down to 11, 10, 9, 8. And then once we get to 30 meters, it does the same amount of damage, but it's only six damage and that's super far away for a shotgun. Now, one thing you need to know about this gun is that this movement speed right here is crucial. The movement speed is 100. That means that you don't have to have your knife out. You can run with your bulldog out, sprint everywhere, and it costs the same amount of stamina as if you had your knife out still. So if you're going to want to rock this gun in game, you're going to have to know what loadout should I rock with it? Obviously, you're going to have a bulldog in your inventory. But what's the secondary? Should you rock a Voltaic Brute as your secondary? Should you rock a Flechette as your secondary? The best secondary, in my opinion, is right here, a C32 bolt action sniper rifle. This thing, is perfect just because of its range ability. This thing can be as a medium to long range gun as it is a sniper and the bulldog is obviously your close range weapon. With this loadout, you don't have much medium range, a really strong medium range gun. Your sniper is in there for medium range as well, but it's gonna suffer in some areas. That's why in your loadout, you always wanna make sure to carry some nades because nades are a really good aspect of the medium range gunfights. You can't throw them that far. You won't throw them when they're really close. You won't throw them when they're really far away. They're a really good aspect for those medium range engagements. So now as for the whole loadout goes, this is what it usually looks like when I rock the bulldog. I got a bulldog, short range. I got a sniper, medium to long range, or more long range. I got grenades for that medium range combat. I obviously have a stack of 50 for my sniper, stack of 50 for my shotgun. Again, this relies on how much you fire at kids if you PVP a lot, if you don't PVP a lot. And I always carry 10 stims, one medkit, and this is my go-to loadout with the bulldog. Now, let's see this thing in action. Again, there could be some different loadouts that do work, but this is what I usually rock. It does switch up a little bit, but let's look over the clips and see how this gun rocks. So in this game, you can see we are rocking the bolt action and the bulldog. This is again, my go-to loadout. And we're gonna see what PVP interactions we can get into. Just like I said before, you run just as quickly with your bulldog out as you do with your knife. So I'd recommend just running with your bulldog around the whole map. Again, play cautiously, but you can usually hold your bulldog out most of the time. One thing I love about the bulldog is how good it is against PVE, against these mobs. If you get a good shot on a strider you can easily one shot it from a, from a pretty decent range inside that 10 meter mark if you go for a rattler i usually kill it in three to four shots usually more in the four area because you have to get a critical headshot to really do that good good damage against a rattler but also with the bulldog this is a great gun for surprise attacks if you surprise attack someone as we'll see in the last clip you will have the possibility to kill someone that's loaded with really good armor really quickly before they can even see you all of their good gear that's why if you want to get better at sneaking around the map really knowing how to play. Go watch my solo player guide video after this video if you're interested. So this right here is a perfect spot to understand how to use the bulldog in a PVP scenario. Right here, we're about to get into some action. And as we see right here, there's a kid hiding right here and he's gonna spray at us with an AR. And what do we do? We have to think smart, think on our feet. Cause again, we only have a bulldog and a shotgun. And this is that weird range, that medium range that the bulldog really can't produce that well in. And that it's gonna be hard to hit that sniper shot with. So right here, we're waiting. He waits 
waits for us. He sprays us. I see where he is. I know he's going to come out from my left hand side. So I duck. I get under the bridge as quickly as possible. And I hit some heals. Now that I'm fully healed up, I really got to listen, play with my ears and understand that I have to get close to this guy in order to have a chance with the bulldog. So I walk underneath the stairs. I was thinking about going up, but as we see right here, very, very shortly, this kid is looking out for me. He's right here looking at me straight under the steps. I know he's going to take some good shots on me and he's probably going to rip me and I'm going to have to fight at a very close quarters gunfight, which is awesome for me. So I played into this a little bit. I get shredded. I lose a decent chunk of my health. Since he now knows I'm low, he knows I'm weak. He's more than likely going to drop down on me, go for a quick kill. He drops down on me. I miss my first shot. And again, you only have two shots with the bulldog. So you have to make them all count. So we miss a shot there. So I have to think to myself, what am I going to do here? I have little to no cover. And this is what I do. I move around the pillar. I get a good shot on him. I understand the situation. He has white armor. This is a winnable gunfight. So I cover behind this little pillar here. And I use the bulldog to an advantage because I know I have to reload. It's a quick reload. So I get it in. I play around the pillar and then I peek back out. I get a good shot on him and I get the kill. That's again because of how I played with the bulldog. I knew I had to take my time. I knew I had to get close to him. So if you play your time, play with the right cards against your chest, you will more than likely come out on top. And that's why if I had any other gun there, I think I would have died just because the bulldog is so good in these close range engagements. Also, I would recommend not hip firing like I did. If you aim in, you're more than likely to do more damage or hit more of the shot. I would more than likely aim in when you can, but there it was a weird gunfight. So I had a hip fire. So now for the second fight, this was a weird one because I was ready to call my evac ship in. I was about to leave, but then I heard a little guy with a backpack running around and I played with my ears again. I heard that he was coming towards me. So I knew if I had the bulldog, I should wait and play close quarters. Cause if I had an AR or something, I would back up a little bit, play a little bit to my advantage with my medium to long range gun. But since I have a bulldog, which is a shotgun, I got to play a little closer here. This is why I said that sneak attacks are amazing with this gun. Because here, this guy peeks unknowingly of where I am. We see he has a pretty good gun. And with our first shot, we're going to identify which type of armor he has. So bam, with our first shot, we understand he has blue armor. So I knew I had to hit the second shot as quickly as possible to really get a good kill on this kid because he wasn't expecting me. So if we go back a little further and really understand the situation, we see he's coming. He pushes me one shot, two shot, dead. He didn't have a chance. Look at how much damage he did to me. He didn't even do half my damage. He barely did a quarter of my health. This is why sneak attacks with the bulldog are so good because he had better armor than me that fight. I was only wearing green armor. He had blue armor with a pretty good gun. And this is why you got to use the bulldog because you can get in these situations where someone is much more looted than you and you have a chance to kill him really easily. Now just to flex a little bit, since I saw he had blue armor, I went and took off my armor and grabbed his. He had a purple helmet and look at this. Now I was loaded. I had blue armor, purple helmet. I hadn't had a purple helmet yet in the game. So this was a really exciting part for me, but that's not even the best part. This guy had a guarantee, a phasic lancer and a flechette on him. So I got a loaded backpack just from rocking a bulldog. If I had any other gun there, I think I die. Again, this was a very different video. So if you like it, let me know in the comments. If you don't, we'll think of something else to do. But again, if you do like it, make sure to drop a like, comment down below to be included in the next video. I will see you in the next one. Uh, deuce!